Oh, I got this in the mail yesterday. You know, who's ever like searching for maybe a fragrance? My stepdaughter is here, obviously. She wanted some seaweed last night. I think you would like this. Cheers. So this is my casserole. ASMR. I feel like I'm eating cow tongue. It's spicy hot, okay? Is my lips still there? <laughs> they red. <laughs> Good morning, welcome to another day in the vlog. I don't know where I ended it last night, but here we are. It's the next day, 9.30 in the morning. I just ran in the kitchen, got some orange juice. But I got this in the mail yesterday. Um, Sephora's, like, says the best fragrance gifts. So, um, it's like a little booklet with samples or like, you know, just the fragrance. Not even samples, just a fragrance. But I was smelling that I was like, mmm. But I wanted to share with y'all that if you know who's ever like searching for maybe a fragrance, if you didn't get this book and maybe want to try it out, this is this one in particular, this Prada one. Now y'all like when it comes to fragrances, perfumes, I'm no I'm no connoisseur, okay? I bought myself one expensive fragrance and that was Michael Kors wonderlust because it smelled really good but any other expensive fragrance that i have like it was bought for me so my husband uh bought me mark jacobs um i forget i forget the name of it um but it smells really good and then my girlfriend bought me michael kors uh gorgeous so i don't really buy expensive scents my favorite scents is actually a tommy hill figure one that I got from like Ross and every time I wear that people compliment me they compliment that over the expensive stuff I wear but you know my husband he likes you know name brand clones he wears you know stuff from Ross too but he's been like into like higher end clones anyway I said to say this Prada one smells really good and I don't know if this is new I don't know, but it's Prada Luna Rossi Ocean. So, this is what the bottle looks like. And I believe it's for men. It doesn't say, but it says the scent type is citrus and woods. Now, I love me like a woodsy, um, cedar wood, like, masculine scent. Like, I love that. Even in my perfumes, I'm not like a floral person. I'm really not. But this one, I might have to gift him... For Christmas because that smells really really good and since I already have Marc Jacobs I have smelled this one this Marc Jacobs um, Daisy one now I believe this is like this is not uh, new like this is not new <laughs> uh, I think it's been out for a while but Marc Jacobs Daisy for the ladies this smells good and this one is actually a fruity floral and but I feel like it has to be some type of like woodsy scent in there I don't know but I think this will be perfect for any woman because you're going into you know if you buy a scent for Christmas they can probably start wearing it in the spring and that smells like really good I actually think I'm gonna get me that next because if I'm not mistaken, when I, when I first smelled Marc Jacobs, I smelled it on a person, okay? Like, we went in the movie theaters, and I was like, oh my gosh, like, her perfume smells so good. And I asked her, she said it was Marc Jacobs something, and, you know, I sampled Marc Jacobs, and I, and the one I picked out, like, I really fell in love with it. However, I don't think it was it. I actually think this was it, the Daisy one. So, maybe if anyone asks, that'll be on my Christmas list. But I'm not really into perfumes, but I just wanted to share that with y'all in case you're looking for something for your your significant other, for your spouse or whatever. And then this replica one, 
this replica one smelled pretty good too. I was, it's a different scent. It says warm and sweet gourmands. I don't know. It says uh, the fragrance. The fragrance description is burning wood and chestnut. But this is different. Like I feel like this would be good for men and women. Probably. I don't know. Maybe just women. But anyway, that's a good one too. Just want to share that with y'all. Um, my stepdaughter is here, obviously. Um, she'll be spending the week with us, and she probably go. She probably go to her uh, her home. Well, this is, these are both her. These are both her homes, but she'll probably go to her mom's house um, later this week, uh, so she can start work. She's working during a school break. She's on a school break. But anyway, I'll probably take her. She wanted some seaweed last night. And so I was like, where are you going to get seaweed from? But there is a like international kind of supermarket close by. So I'll probably take her to that today to get some seaweed if she still wants it. But yeah, my baby girl's here. We missed her. Me and her was up watching The Walking Dead last night. Yeah, so if you don't know, that's my stepdaughter. She's 18. Um, <clears throat> I've been in her life since she was two. And she's mine. Like, that's the way I see it. Like, that's my daughter so um anyway that's gonna be it for now and i'll talk so much in five minutes but i'll see you after work so it's the end of the work day and i'm in the car about to head to the korean supermarket um we're literally about to approach it the book's in the car but she don't want to be seen um but i'll film a little bit oh well, i should can i get through here will it help oh yeah i'm gonna turn here No, I'll pick this up. I don't know if it got the balls in it, but I think so. But I'll show. Oh, yeah, it says with tapioca pearls. I feel like it would be like in a, uh, huh? Look at these pink pots. So I guess there's different flavors, yeah. I think you would like this. To go packs. Regular flavor. I'll just have it on. Oh, do not touch the displays. Yeah, not sample. Oh, you can't open it. All right, so we're back. So this is what we got. We got some seaweed, um, savory roasted. We got bubble tea. She has mm -hmm. matcha green and I have brown sugar. And then, I'm excited to try this. We have strawberry. I'm not gonna pronounce Mokey? it. Moki? Moke? I'm not Mo gonna pronounce it. Yeah. And then, I seen something about like spring rolls. Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna make some noodles and then put the noodles in spring roll and wrap it up and try it. Yeah. We're gonna wrap it up. And spring roll and the spicy ramen yeah and that's all y'all we just we just browse quickly and um it was, it was the most expensive thing the ramen was the most expensive thing which is crazy so she actually gonna try the seaweed right now we're gonna see what it's i had it before but i don't know if i got like the right one yeah. like different flavors this kind she got is savory roasted Korean style, I guess it's popular. Oh my god, it's so thin. It's like pepper. Cheers. The way you just tore that up. It's like it's good, but it's like a different texture. You never had it before. Hello. 
don't know how to feel about it. I don't know how to feel about it. Okay. I feel like I'm eating paper that yeah, tastes like grass. She tearing it up like it's a bag of chips. How many calories is it? Is it healthy? I actually don't know. Sorry. I wonder if that'd be a healthy alternative to like a pack. Mm -hmm. mm, that was weird. That is weird. It's not nasty though, right? not something that I'll be like, mm, I want seaweed. <laughs> this girl was craving it last night. She was about to Instacart seaweed. <laughs> this girl was about to Instacart seaweed, ready to pay a delivery fee. <laughs> it was too cute. And we're back. I'm eager to try my drink and dry my Of course, I'm in the cup. We're going to see how this tastes. I feel like that brown sugar is about to taste real good. The brown sugar? Yeah, that, that's a really risky. That's the type of thing I get from almonds. Um, Wawa. <laughs> we have it in Um, I don't think. Where's the pearls? All right, where are we at the bottom? It's probably in there, you just don't see it. Smell is very it's good. It's like a milky green tea. Yeah. That ain't too bad. You know, my life's not a candle, like. <laughs> 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 like candle. It does! <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like it too. Nasty. It's like it's like coffee. Let me see if I can get a pearl. Let's see how that tastes. Like a boogie. I don't want to drink it anymore. <laughs> ASMR. Like the taste, y'all, to me, like the flavor it is good. It just tastes really it's gonna grow on you. Like, it tastes like a fish, like how a fish tank would smell. You know, I don't, I'm not trying to, you know, offend anybody. You know, if they like it or, you know, being as though it is a different flavor that I'm not used to, it's just, it tastes how, like, I would imagine a fish tank would smell. Mm -hmm. So these are see these are seaweed. I know you ate one of fries. And then these are fresh mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you've seen these. Yeah. <laughs> and then these are spring rolls and we put the noodles in too. Yeah, I saw that on YouTube. And then me and mommy got um bubble tea. She got oh, yeah. matcha tea, the brown sugar. We already tried you it. You wanna try it? We saved some for you April. I thought it was mocha, not mocha. Matcha. Matcha. Taste it. Tastes pretty good. What do you taste it? I taste this flavor. It kind of tastes like coffee. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I told you. <laughs> he would not it. like the green con. He would not like the green con. So I am making dinner and I'm making this easy turkey pot pie that's on the back of the stove top box, which is really good. I made it once before and all you need is just the stuffing, like a chicken rotisserie, some cut up chicken, some um, frozen broccoli, cauliflower and rice. I mean, broccoli, cauliflower and carrot blend 
and just some turkey gravy. So that's what I cut up right here. Here's the chicken. I already cut up the chicken, obviously. And then I have this gravy right here. And I had bought frozen vegetables and just let it like defrost. Probably gotta let it, I probably gotta throw it in the mic for just a little bit, let it defrost a little bit more. But that's what's gonna be, you know, if somebody, if somebody wants to eat it, it'll be for dinner tonight, it'll be for dinner tomorrow, however long it lasts. That's what I'm cooking, that's what I'm gonna have tonight. But you might just end up eating these noodles, these spicy noodles. Baby girl over there drawing. She's coloring in her little sister's picture. She's so cute. She's so adorable, so innocent. <laughs> so this is my casserole. Looks so good. I already took a piece just to see. But this came out. And so all you had to do was like layer the vegetables with the chicken and the gravy. And then add the cooked um, stuffing on top. So... It tastes just like Thanksgiving. That's why I wanted to make it because I didn't have enough Thanksgiving food and I really wanted like that taste. <laughs> so um, I'll have that for the next couple of days. You'll probably have it for the next like literally, what's today? Wednesday? Probably up until Friday. Um, so yeah, I did. You're going to eat that <gasps> Seaweed! I know seaweed good or not. Okay, I wanted y'all both to try it. Are you ready? Wait, wait till Robbie. Okay. Smells ocean. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three, go. Mm. I'm surprised you like it. Uh -uh. No? Take Robbie, eat it. Eat it. I did. I don't like it. No, just eat the whole thing. Eat the whole thing? Yes. The acid is. But, everyone like it? No. I don't really like Eat it. it. Like, I, the, the first taste is good, like the aftertaste. The aftertaste, right? It's just like eating a fish tank, don't it? The texture is funny, ain't it? I need to wear it for a while for April. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not like... Seaweed is not like a type of thing. It's like, do I like it? Do I not? That's what it's like. No, I can't eat this because. Yeah, I don't like seaweed. Well, tastes like a fish. What for me? Slow down. down. Fish. That piece. Can we try it? Uh -huh. oh. Those look really good, actually. And then I'm gonna make. I'll make this little spring rolls. Yay! I really want to try that. I think that would be really good. The spicy nose. Yeah. yeah. I've like seen those on YouTube, but a Chinese people eat it I really want to try those. Like, if they're strawberry, please. You can try them, but I knew I knew milk was going to get some of these strawberries. It has to be strawberry. I thought they were strawberry oranges. Strawberry is like the safest. It looks very really sour. But don't they look like oranges? It's called it's a strawberry it. mochi. Mochi. A mocha. Mochi, I don't know. You ready? Mm -hmm. I, was gonna, I was gonna take that one. It is really spicy. I'll just take this one. Oh my gosh. Mm. So powdery. Smell good. Are ready? Three. Cheers. Cheers. Three, two, really like one. Mmm. Something in the middle. It tastes like I'm eating belly fat. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. I don't feel like the inside of it. I didn't taste the inside of it. The powder? I think it's really good, but like. You feel like if I were to eat an ear or a tongue, <laughs> that's the it's texture tongue. it would be like. Oh yeah, I like that part. Yeah, it's alright. Mm. Do you like the inside? Bad. Okay. I don't like the outside. Outside is good, the inside is bad. Like the outside, the powder messes the dust to me. Y'all tore that up. I'll put it in my mouth. It's not you a lot it. of bites, it's small. It's like. You can have it. 
I do not. Mommy does not like really fat. I do not like the texture. I feel like I'm eating cow tongue. It has candy at the bottom, but you're probably not eating it. I would definitely eat the candy. That one is matcha tea. No? It's like really weird. It tastes like tea. It tastes like they didn't make it tea, but like... I think I did I want to try this. I want to try the things at the bottom. Hmm. I would taste this. Oh. What is this Korean food? Mm -hmm. Now let's try this one. This is brown sugar. Cool. She don't like it. <laughs> it's just really like squishy. I don't, like, I don't really like those. It tastes like nothing, but I think I would like this one. Yeah, that one's good. Mm. How do I? Yeah, it's rest. All right, so the goal was to wrap these up in some, what is this called? Rice paper? Yeah. And spring roll wrapper. So, mm -hmm. I wrapped one. That's how Mook Mook <laughs> seen it. Um, this is Mook Mook's. Can I wrap it? And April's like, I was gonna wrap hers. And so fold the, fold the sides. Fold the sides. Towards the middle. Can you hand me one now? Then, no, yeah, not, you don't have to touch. And then fold up the bottom. Mm-hmm. And then keep it towards the center. Keep the noodles towards the center. Yeah. Yeah. If it's still does it need some yeah. Okay, a little bit. A little bit. Uh, okay. No. <laughs> Don't rip it. Like mommy did. I think it already ripped at the bottom. Just keep Sorry. It. Oh, mine's supposed to be all the way clear? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm going to probably take it out. I can't even see it because it's so clear. There you go. Now place it. See how transparent it looks, Robbie? Mm-hmm. I can't even see it. It's so hard to even see where it's at. But big sister can see it. I'm more in the middle of them. But don't make them touch. Yeah. Then fold this. Fold this it up. Wrap it. Just wrap it up the best way you know how. Look at mine. It looks All right. so <laughs> Here we go, y'all. It's hot. It's spicy hot. Okay? okay. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Right. We should have got our water ready. I don't, I don't like the paper. Mm -mm. You don't like the paper? I don't like the paper. You lose. Wow. Oh. I don't like the paper. Oh. <coughs> Spicy, but... hello. Oh, God. Oh. These noodles are good. Here. You know, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Ain't that bad? Hurt my mouth up. It's done. It hurts to be. <laughs> <laughs> that was 
wasn't smart to get that. That's gonna make it worse. She said it hurts to breathe. <laughs> Two times spicy. I'm happy I said just get this one. So it's the end of the night and I'm in the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. <laughs> um, it was quite a um, interesting one. But I'm sitting here watching The Walking Dead. Been watching episode of, episode after episode. Kind of binge watching the series. But I'm about to call it a night. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Thanks again for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye. I'm unique.